तावद ब्रह्म कथा मुक्ति पदवीं तावद नतिक्ति भवि तावच्चा विशृंखलतमयते न लोक वेद स्थिति तावत शस्त्रविद मिथा कल कल नाना बहि पद्मसु श्री चैतन्य पदाबुज प्रियजन जावद न दिग्ग दिग्गचर तावद ब्रह्म कथा मुक्ति पदवीं तावद नतिक्ति भवि तावच्चा विशृंखलतमयते न लोक वेद स्थिति तावत शास्त्रविद मिथ कलकल नाना बहिर्भत्मसु श्रीचैतन्य पदाबुज प्रियजन यावत न दिग्गचर गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर बहुपा परमंश जगदगुरु सेट दैट अर्थ निवृत्ति इज नॉट अवर फाइनल गोल यू आर फुलिश You think अनर्थ निवृत्ति इज अ फाइनल गोल नट दैट पवा स्पीकिंग गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशीला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी प्रभुपा परमंश जगदगुरु सेट दैट अनर्थ निवृत्ति इज नट अ फाइनल गोल आफ्टर अनर्थ निवृत्ति उइ नीड अर्थ प्रवृत्ति अनर्थ निवृत्ति मीन टू काट ऑन अनर्थ फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम रूट अनर्थ निवृत्ति इज अ संस्कृत वर्ड बेंगोली वर्ड इट मीन्स टू काट अनर्थ फ्रॉम रू सो टू काट अनर्थ इज नॉट अ फाइनल गोल यू थिंक इट इज फाइनल गोल आफ्टर अनर्थ निवृत्ति बबा स्पीकिंग आफ्टर अनर्थ निवृत्ति वी नीड आफ्टर अनर्थ निवृत्ति After anartha nibriti, we need artha pravritti. After after anartha nibriti, we need to grow artha pravritti. Intensity to do bhajan. This we need. Artha pravritti means to means to. you know get krishna bhakti i mean love for krishna that is the artha pravritti if not that then our bhajan is not perfect we are failure to do bhajan now point is that who is pure vishnu who is not whole world now in confusion because this is the age of advertisement like in the like in our society we can find different kind of commodity you know commodity different kind of commodities there big advertisement there everywhere in tv channel internet here there everywhere so that people can think it is very important thing so they can feel it necessary to buy to procure that thing but actually this is not actually good thing is very bad but due to advertisement people think it is very important thing so we must get it this is the age of advertisement that's why people they are in confusion they don't understand where to go whom to follow how to follow and why to follow they are thinking in they are in confusion they have no idea they have no idea to identify they have no power they have no idea to identify a pure vishnu they don't know that's why at present they are they are in great confusion big confusion all over the world there is one like we know economical crisis political crisis educational crisis bhajan crisis at present we are with bhajan crisis all over the world bhajan crisis how to realize what is actual bhajan whom to follow because it's not a matter of joke we cannot run our risks we cannot run our risks to you know 
to lose our bhajan. It's a big problem there. Many times I told that Sampradaya Nishtha and Guru Nishtha is the most vital point. Guru Nishtha and Sampradaya Nishtha, Ape Sadhu, genuine Sadhu is the most vital symptom. Without which we cannot say that he is a Sadhu. Because no Guru Nishtha means no Bhakti. No Sampradaya Nishtha means no problem, big problem. So who is going to who is going to speak about that absolute truth, absolute way, standing on this absolute platform? That is the main thing we'll have to think. We'll have to consider. Because you know, in front of Parikshit Maharaj, there was thousands of sadhu. Was it not? 60,000 in Naimi Sharana and 88,000 there in, you know, at the bank of Ganga. Shuktal. Big amount of sadhu. Each of them, each of them having some speciality, surely. All many dishes they are coming. They have some some or other kind of speciality they have. Parikit Maharaj Parikit Maharaj wanted to get answer. How to get absolute mangal? But different Rishi Munis they are suggesting different way. This Rishi is speaking this way, that Rishi is speaking this way. Finally, Parikit Maharaj is a devotee. Parikit Maharaj is a devotee. Na? He took birth in a, a Vaishnava family, as a Panchabandha of all Vaishnavas, Kunti Devi Vaishnava, and a, a Draupadi, all Vaishnavas. Yeah. Now, Parikit Maharaj is thinking what to do. Everybody is suggesting hey, you do this. He drew this, but Parikit Maharaj with full patience, but Parikit Maharaj with full patience, depending upon that Supreme Lord. What is the arrangement of the Supreme Lord that I can accept it? In the meantime, Shukdev Goswami coming there by the desire of Bhagavan Sri Krishna, and now Shukdev Goswami is there and is going to Orsi putting question. Now actually it was one kind of evolution. Now Sukhde Goswami started speaking about the absolute truth. Now uh, in our Gauriyo devo in our Gauriyo devotional field there is also confusion. Who is speaking absolute Siddhanta who is not speaking absolutely, we don't understand. Because most of the people, they depend upon appliances. Who is going to, who is going to, you know, approach Gaur Kishadvaj Bhavaji Maharaj? Yeah, no love, puja, putishtha, nothing. Only one coping, sitting at the bank of Ganga, doing Harinam. Nobody can understand. Nobody can understand. But all at that time, all Sahajiya, all Babajis, all big, big, you know, they are going to destroy the whole world by their mispreaching. Though Gautishat Babaji is not speaking Harikatha, but it is more than Harikatha, or more than Harikatha, I mean, I want to say Sarikatha. More than Harikatha, nothing can be there. I am just uh, speaking. Sometime Gorkishar Babaji Maharaj used to speak some comment. That is also unique Siddhanta Picha. Sometime expressing Siddhanta Picha. That's why, that's why about Gorkishar Babaji Maharaj we are speaking Paramangsa Acharya Varjo. 
We are speaking, no? Why speaking? Gorkeshwar Bhaji are not going to any place for preaching. But we say, Paramahansa Acharya Bharju. Acharya. We are not speaking Paramahansa only. Because he is the number one preacher. How he is preaching? You say he never went anywhere to preach. Yes, he is preaching. You don't know. How he is preaching? He is preaching by his own conduct, Vaishnav etiquette. He is preaching by his acharan. He is preaching by his acharan. Acharan itself is one kind of preaching. And it is the best preaching. Acharan is the topmost preaching. If acharan is there, same thing Boba told. Same thing Boba told. If somebody is established in the teachings of, if somebody is established in the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, be sure he is the number one pracharak. Baba speaking, if somebody is established in the teachings, and uh, teachings mean acharan also, same thing. If some devotee is totally established in the acharan of Gaurang Mahapu, be sure he is number one preacher. Preacher. Srila Sachidanda Bhaktivinoda Thakur started expressing concern about the situation coming that time. Bhaktivinoda Thakur started speaking There are so many so-called devotees, they are going, for pre going in the preaching field. But they then, Bhakti Muttaka was speaking, they themselves, they themselves have no information. They themselves have no information about the exact teaching of Chaitanya Mahap. Bhakti Muttaka was speaking. We already published. Whereas they are going to preach. They are going to misguide the whole world. Bhakti Manta was speaking, they are not only going to destroy themselves, they are going to destroy the whole world by supplying misinformation, mis by mispreaching, misconduct, acharan. is a very sensitive issue. If I openly speak you, it's not good. Better you develop that kind of accuracy, sensitivity. You try to realize. Everything openly cannot be spoken. You should realize. Really, we are proud. Really, we are proud of our Guru Varga. We are really proud about our Guru Varga, like Paramaja Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. Parambuja Siddhar Gusima, we are really proud of him. Such an exalted devotee in the whole world, he cannot search out. I am speaking the truth. I can show you countless documents from his writing, speech, I can show you. This Acharya speaking this, Siddhar Gusima speaking this. This Acharya going to arrange. Julan, everything, Rasa Leela, Siddhar Goswami speaking, we have no power to do it. Because we are going to follow our Gurudev, Prabhupada, the Prabhupada, Prabhupada never approved it. Everybody doing, maybe somebody doing, I don't, I have that much power, I don't have. This kind of, this kind of accuracy we have seen in the Acharan of Paramja Siddhar Goswami. Any question in the life of Paramahansa Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, in a whole life, not even a single question was untouched by him. Not even a single question was untouched, not unanswered by him. Answered him. Perfectly. According to the Siddhanta Vichara of Prabhupada, I think still today you don't understand what I mean to say. You think me enemy. The accuracy, the accuracy of a sadhu, 
the accuracy of a sadhu depend upon how accurately he is going to represent his sampradaya. It is the rep responsibility of all Acharya. It is the responsibility of those responsible Acharya, those who are going to take the leading part in our Vaishnava society. It is their duty to, to follow exactly how accurately he can represent the Siddhanta Vichara of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, I mean the Siddhanta Vichara of Bhakti Thakur, I mean the Siddhanta Vichara of Prabhupada. But you are not paying attention, whole world paying attention to some other things, which is less important, or even not at all important. Even we should discard it, but we will be giving attention to these factors. Even we should cut and throw it. It's not important, not even important. We should cut and throw it. If it is there, it's a big problem. But people are going to pay attention to all those factors, which is less important, less important or no important at all. It should be avoided. But what to do? What to do? We don't know. He was such a exalted Gauriya representative. He was the number one representative of the Gauriya Mat. He was the number one representative of the Gauriya Mat. I mean the Chaitanya Mat. I am not speaking. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada very often used to say, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Siddhar Maharaj, Goswami Maharaj we are speaking, Siddhar Maharaj is number one Pracharak of Gauriya Mat. From whom we cannot expect even a single mistake in his Acharan and Siddhanta This is a big Prabhupada many times used to say, many Siddhanta Vijayar I like to speak about Srila Maharaj, because about Guru Vaishnava, Bhagavan, we have some ontological aspect, aspect and morphological aspect. But we are busy with Siddhanta Vijayar, not with material. And nothing is there material with Vaishnava where they took birth, where they left body, what he have done, okay. But we are learning from our Guru Bhargava to discuss about their perfect Siddhanta Vichar because Siddhanta Vichar is a Sarup. If I can project the Siddhanta Vichar of Siddhar Goswami in front of you, that means I am going to show the heart of Siddhar Ma, that is called actual, that is called actual glorification of Siddhar Goswami which is called actual glorification. We learn it from our Guru Bhargava. That you must speak about the Bani Sharuva Siddhanta Goswami That's more important. If there is some problem in Bani Sharuva, some mistake, never mind. Never mind, I beg for pardon. I'm bound to say. If you found, if you can find some wrong Siddhanta Vichar, in the speech of one Acharya, in the writing one Acharya, you should avoid him. Because there is no possibility, there is no possibility that you can get perfect Siddhanta Vija from that. No possibility. Parambuja Keshav Goswami used to say, we are so foolish. Parambuja Keshav Goswami used to say, we are so foolish that where it is not available, we foolish people want to get that thing from that particular place. Siddhar Guru used to say, which is not available there, but all thousands of people going there, you give me, give me, it is not there. Parambuja Keshav Guru used to say, we are so foolish, so idiot, what is not available there, we, like, we are expecting to get that thing from that source. If you approach there, there is no scope that you can get that thing from there. But you are, give me. 
Are, how he can give? It's not available there. We are foolish. Give me bhakti, give me bhakti, we are catching the Lord, we are giving God and thousands of people. But bhakti is not there. Not there, not at all. Bhakti is not there. You are going to ah, give me bhakti. Ah, well, he is not, he's not having bhakti. How he can give bhakti? So, Siddhar, our Keshav Goswami used to say, what is not available there, we like to, we are expecting that thing from that source. The main thing. That is the main problem at present. Regarding Guru, Guru Shiva, one Siddhanta Pichar I think is more than sufficient. If you are really interested about Hari Bhajan, so long you are hearing, one Siddhanta Pichar, then you cannot express any agitation, nothing. Our Prabhupada Madhukusima was speaking to Prabhupada. Our Paramahya Madhav Goswami was speaking. Actually, one of his senior god brother, he told him, Prabhupada love you, so you can, you can approach Prabhupada and speak this. That devotee, he was giving full responsibility to do this seva, but he has not done no seva. He was given responsibility to do this seva perfectly, but has not done any seva. You can speak. You speak to, no, 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 you can speak to Prabhupada. You can speak to Prabhupada. Because Prabhupada loves you. Then, Madhya Goswami, I am high grade Brahmachari speaking to Prabhupada. Prabhupada, can I speak something to you? Yes. What? What do you like? Prabhupada, you give responsibility to that devotee for the seva. But he has done no seva at all. Eh? Lapse of duty. No responsibility. Then Prabhupada with full harsh mood speaking. Why you expect? Why you expect? Why you expect seva from others? Why you expect that somebody can do seva? How you expect? All seva, your seva. All Guru Seva, your Seva. All Guru Seva, your Seva. Why you expect Seva from him? He can do, he cannot do. When you think, when you think that this is my child, when you, when you, can, when you can realize that this is my child, then you can, automatically you can do. One mother, she need not... She need not get advice from other women that you uh, do the seva of mother uh, or your son automatically. So, Papa speaking, all seva, your seva. If somebody doing, okay. If not doing, still okay. All your seva. It is the nature of a genuine Guru Seva. Try to realize. A Guru Seva can never lose patience. A Guru Shiva can never blame others. You have not done. You have not done. No, never can. Guru Shiva is with full patience. All with full patience. Even after doing enormous seva. Even after doing enormous seva. Let's take, I have done nothing. What I have done? I have done nothing. No seva I have done. This is the nature of seva. This is the nature of seva. If you do seva, you can grow more interest. The more seva you can go, more interest you can go. One day, our Ramananda Prabhu, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, he was feeling, he was feeling, he was feeling, I am a great offender. Well, why? He was feeling great offender. What happens? Deity installation ceremony in Sharbok, Assam. I already told previous Harikatha and next previous Zipasta I like to remind her. And Siddhanta which are a little bit different. Though the case it looks like same, not the same. 
Our Prabhupada was, I've been there one time in my life. Oh my God! Prabhupada used to stay there. Yeah? In a small room, tin said. Yes. That was. Prabhupada used to travel in local train. Local train. Bhakti Muntagur Prabhupada. I myself whole life. Local train. To do all seva. Follow. Now, Prabhupada was invited because Prabhupada wanted to give order to Ramananda Prabhu. You can all, all arrange all everything. After that, you can call me, I can do Abhishek. But actually, Ramananda Prabhu, out of his and uh, uh, ecstatic feeling. Whatever came inside his mind, he done it all. First of all, there is, there is before Abhishek, you don't know. Before Abhishek, preliminary, preliminary cleaning should be done. That is called Amangala, Amangala Durikaran. In Sanskrit and Bengali. Amangala means all dirty things, they are preliminary. Before the 18th session, you should do preliminary. After that cleaning, when you are sure that everything pure, then you can arrange clothes and everything there and put the deity in a big pot for Abhishek. Everything should be done. All arrangement all around. Then you can call. Then Prabhupada was invited. Prabhupada, everything done. You can come. In the meantime, Parambhajad, Siddhar Goswami, our Ramananda Prabhu, provided garland to the deities. And Prabhupada came inside the deity room, opened the screen, and it's done. Well, deity installation done. What I can do? Deity installation already done. When Prabhupada told this way, then Ramananda Prabhu was very. He thought himself, I am a great offender. That time, he could not speak anything to Prabhupada. Everything, all festival done. After that, night time, tears rolling down his cheeks, he wanted to approach Prabhupada. I have done a great mistake today. I have done a great mistake. I know I have done aparad unto your lotus feet. I never wanted to do how I have done, I don't know. It was your seva. But I have done. So you please excuse me. You please excuse me. I have done great offense. If you don't excuse, I can die. Then Prabhupada speaking. Try to remember, try to remember the all Siddhanta Vichar. Prabhupada speaking. Those who are hundred percent inclined, those who are hundred percent inclined, there is no possibility for them to do any aparat. What is the solution you see? Popat not speaking that you have done no aparat, nothing. Those who are hundred percent inclined, there is no possibility that they can do any aparat. So don't cry. Follow what he say. Those who are hundred percent inclined, there is no possibility for them to do any aparat. I myself know. When I was engaged in Guru Mahaj Seva night time, no Seva actually, I am waiting, Guru Mahaj is going to bathroom, he used to take him. A simple Seva, and daytime computer Seva, Harikatha, these are so many official jobs. But, very often, it happened so, the Guru Mahaj old age, I am moving, Guru Mahaj moving. My leg touch with Guru Mahaj. I was crying actually, Guru Mahaj, I have done great offense. My leg, I, la I touch your lotus feet. Guru Mahaj laughing. No problem. No problem. <laughs> Guru Mahaj used to say. So though Prabhupada used to say, those were inclined for them. Bhagavan not going to count any problem. If you are not inclined, then if you are Balavacharya, 
still Mahaprabhu can, cannot excuse you. If you are Ballavacharya you yourself, if you are not inclined, but Mahaprabhu cannot excuse you, can throw you away. Huh? Go. Submission is so big thing that I cannot speak you through language. It is a question of realization. Any amount of my philosophy, any amount of my representation, language is not sufficient. Realization, you have to realize. If you love Bhagavan from, and another thing very important I told, that your preaching is not independent preaching. Is it so? If your preaching is your independent preaching, then your preaching is not at all preaching. If your preaching is independent preaching, you are preaching under the guidance of all our Guru Bhargava, Sokta Pantha. That is called actually. But now, now you can search out the whole world. It is my request unto your lotus feet. You search out the whole world. Who can realize this Siddhanta Bisha? You search out the whole world, I say you. And try to show me who is going to realize this Siddhanta Bisha. One man I like to see. Big problem. Nobody likes to pay attention to the all fine, fine Siddhanta Vichar. One, one Siddhanta Vichar of the Prabhupada is one kind of evolution in our devotional line without realizing, without realizing all those Siddhanta Vichar, there is no possibility that we can make any progress in our bhajan. There is no possibility that we can make any progress in our bhajan, no possibility. Impossible. One very important Siddhanta Vishar, Srila Satchidanda Bhakti was speaking, those who are totally absorbed in material thing, if you are going to preach in front of them, they are not going to pay any attention to your speech. Because, because today, noon time I was also speaking, if there is no self-inquiry, then your hearing Harikatha is not perfect hearing. If, if you are having, having self-inquiry, enough of it, material enjoyment, material world, whatever you have seen, now you are speaking, enough of it. I don't need anything. Now you grow, Self-inquiry, is very self-inquiry, then your hearing is okay, nice. Then your hearing, okay, very nice. Otherwise, all material people, those who are not going to pay attention, they are going to you know, ignore Guru Vaishnava in front of them. If you speak Harikatha, you can lose your power also. You can lose your power. You can lose your power. At the same time, they can also get no benefit. You can lose your power. But they can also. So, Bhaktivinoda was speaking, any amount of Harikatha in front of them cannot yield, cannot yield any, per cannot yield any perfect result. Those who are Vishay, Avinevesh, any amount of Harikatha, you go on speaking, preaching, no result. But, if you can go on doing chanting Harinam and speak, and speak about the glorification of Harinam, if you can, if you can speak, the, if you can speak the endless glories, if you can speak the endless, glo endless glories of Harinam Prabhu, if you can show them in applied form, you can do yourself, do acharan and show them. What is the magic spell of Harinam Prabhu? Like the case of Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur is surely not going to speak any Harikatha. Mind it what I say. Follow what I say. Haridas Thakur is not going to speak any Harikatha in front of that Lakshahira, that pros. Haridas Thakur is not going to speak any Harikatha. Haridas Thakur only doing Harinam 
and going to show his efficacy, perfect Vishuddha Acharan and love for Harinam. And that Harinam of Prakita Sabda Brahma going to put effect into the heart of that. There is a very important thing, Bhakti Mataguri used to say. Whole life, if you search out the whole life of Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, whole life you search, you cannot find even a single defect in his life. But so-called big, big acharya, they are going to find so much, so many defects in his life. I was very, I was feeling very pain. In the original place, original place, original mean Chaitanya Mahat. They are they are going to stop. They are going to stop. They are going to stop. Their Prabhupada stop. No, no. It's written by Sridhar Maharaj, fallen soul. No. Not, not doing. At I was there. I was there long ago. I used to stay in Chaitanya Mahat. Used to speak Harikatha by the desire of Prabhupada in the Abhidhara Natta Mandir. Among all thousands of devotees, I am so lucky to sit in the in Na, Abhidhara Natta Mandir, used to speak Harikatha. But they couldn't digest. In front of Prabhupada, in, pro, in front of Prabhupada Bhajan Kutir, in front of Prabhupada Samadhi Mandir, I was so lucky. I was so lucky and I am thinking how it was possible for me. But they couldn't digest that kind of absolute truth. So I was bound to go to Vrindavan. No alternative. I never wanted to go to solitary Bhajan. I never wanted to go to solitary But it is not problem for me by the desire of Gurudev. Even today, they are not doing. Many society you can find, they are not. Why they are not residing Prabhupada's Stockholm, I don't know. They have some jealousy for Prabhupada. Or for whom? For Siddhar Guzimaj. I cannot trace out. My brain is limited brain. I cannot understand what still Siddhar. But one thing I can confirm, sitting in Basasan, that if you like to meet with Prabhupada, if you like to meet with Prabhupada today, if you like to meet with Prabhupada, you will have to go through Sujanar Buddha Padu Yugam. Hundred percent I confirm in Basa in front of Chaitanya Bhagavad. I confirm this point. If you like to meet with Prabhupada still today, Prabhupada gone. I know Prabhupada gone. But still today, if you like to meet with Prabhupada, then you will have to go to the writings of Parambhya Siddhar Goswami Sujanar Buddha Pado Yugam Yuga Dharma Durandara Patro Bharam. This you will have to go. You have to realize this sloka. Each and every word, each and every word is the stava going to indicate the Bani Sharup of Prabhupada, which is quite impossible. Which is really next to impossible. Who can do it? Who can do it? It's impossible. Total Bani Sharup, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj was successful to decorate the Bani Sharup in such a way, if I go through this Bani Sharup in true sense and realize, then I can meet with Prabhupada still today. Hundred, hundred percent. Only there is big problem in our society due to jealousy and everything, all going to be finished. Big, big qualified sadhus, they gone from this material world and those who are there, they also like to keep silence. We know many such devotees, like Santo Goswami Maharaj, last of all, they like to keep silence. Bhakti Puri Goswami want to keep silence. Bhakti Vala Tithu keep silence. Bhakti Vala Bhaman Goswami keep silence. 
when nobody is going to hear, then they are playing the Leela of not speaking. What to do? All they gone, and now, who can check our downfall? Who can check our downfall? We are going down. I am searching for that environment. I always crying to get the association of big, big Vaishnavas. I got in my life, I wanted to, again I like to. I am sometimes feeling very sad. What to do? That Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, in whole life, our Pambe Madhu Goswami Maharaj, Siddhar Goswami, they never done any mistake. Not even a single mistake you can find. If you point out, I can throw everything. You cannot. But still, out of jealousy, somebody is speaking, all rubbish. All rubbish. That is why, Prabhupada, before leaving this material world, Prabhupada, leaving, Prabhupada, before leaving this material world, told that you are, you all are going to burn up your luck. Prabhupada speaking, I am watching that your luck is already burnt up. You got golden opportunity, but due to some politics and love puja the fighting, pure Guru Vaishnava, you, you can test them. They know like. So Baba told, I am watching that how you are going to burn up your luck. So lucky we are. But we are going to luck. Simply for money, position, simply for stool and urine. In front of me, La Puja Puti is a stool and urine. Or more dangerous than that. That's why still today I am not getting popularity. Otherwise, I could get popularity all over the world, very easily, with this way, this way. But I never run. I hate it, spit. I make urine and stool. That's why I'm not getting any popularity. Uh, of course, I don't want. That's why I'm not getting it. Only I like to protect and preserve all our Gaurabani, I mean our Sautavani, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Kesav Goswami Maharaj, oh, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, one one writing, if you go, you can go mad. Such talented. I go mad still today. Ja, how possible? In whole Gauriya society, all over the world, you know, our Gauriya society, you can find one genius personality like, like our Kesav Goswami Maharaj. So idea about Vedanta Vichar. One one Vichar, I go to. How possible for him? Mayavad. They used to, who? Mayavad gone. They had to kick out Mayavad. So powerful. Very powerful. But you are going to criticize them. That Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. He was our beloved Gurudev, Avinu Gurudev. Up to his last moment, he never stopped speaking Harikatha. Even before living body, one year before, two years before, six months before, he used to speak Harikatha the whole day. Even in the morning time, we are doing Harinam. Eh? Siddhar Goswami are doing Harinam from two o'clock night. We are doing a little bit after. Oh, morning time, okay. But Siddhar Goswami is completing Harinam and speaking Harikatha, just after Arati. You can, we have seen our Guru Maharaj doing Harinam. From 9 o'clock, 2, 3, 2 o'clock doing Harinam. Arati is over, everything. He is looking Arati from there. Aprakita Arati. Hello. After Arati, we are going to pay Dandavat to go. Siddhar Goswami has to start Harikatha. Especially those foreign devotees. Especially those foreign devotees. They had great love for Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. Our also, our, we also, but they special. Because after big, big Acharya is gone, where to go? So, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj never wanted to make any disciple, but later on many foreign devotees also came. 
He never wanted to make any result. No, 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 no. Ma, no, you will have to leave. Finally, he was bound to give. So many foreign devotees also there. So how possible, how possible that he is sitting in one chair and is preaching all over the world? You see the power of pure Vaishnava. You see the power of him not going anywhere. Popa took decision to send Siddharma to foreign country. After that, after that Popa changed his decision. Because Siddhar Goswami never wanted to go to foreign country. So Siddharam was thinking, Prabhupada give me order, I must go because I cannot violate the order of Prabhupada. In the meantime, somehow, Prabhupada changing his decision not to send him to foreign country. Now later on, when Prabhupada gone, our Siddhar Maharaj was bound to say that my Gurudev wanted to send me to foreign country, but uh, anyway, that time it was not possible. That turn is not possible. I mean, practically it was not possible for me to preach in foreign country. Maybe for this reason, my Gurudev is going to arrange my foreign preaching by sitting in one place. How powerful! The question about they are sitting in one place, they are not going to, but their preaching is going all over, because their acharan is so powerful. Any amount of mispreaching you can do against them, you can try. Against one pure Vaishnava, you can speak all rubbish. But still, today or tomorrow, they can come to know the fact. How long you can try to hide? So, Siddhar Goswami is the only personality who was successful to preach all over the world, only by sitting in one place, continuously from morning time, Arati. Arati over? All devotees are sitting, birds are Chipping birds all around in the garden now, all around. But chi, 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 all birds. And his Harikata speaking. Dim light in the room, sun, and uh, before sunrise. Oh my God, what is this? so nice environment? Even you cannot imagine. Siddhar Goswami closing his eyes, sitting in an easy chair. Haplin, doing Hari, Harinam Mala is there, closing eyes and very slowly speaking Harikatha one by one. Whole day. Morning time, after that, after 9 o'clock, morning time, after that, 1 o'clock over, noon time, <laughs> yeah, afternoon time, nine, whole day. People coming, say, people coming, na? I am speaking Harikatha. People coming, so Harikatha. Cold here, speaking Harikatha. I don't know why. There is, must be some special ground for why. Many of our Guru Bharga, they used to treat him non-different from Prabhupada. Like Bhakti Kaval Mohsan Goswami Maharaj, our Guru Maharaj, my Guru Maharaj, and all, so many. They are exalted devotee. My Guru Padma, Parvangsa Guru Padma, they came much before than Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. He was Brahmachari, that time Siddhar Goswami used to come. Madhu Goswami much. But still, say Guru Padma used to give honor to them, like Madhu Goswami. This is the, this is the symptom of a pure Vaishnava. Pure Vaishnava, you can try them. They love Guru Vaishnava so much. Whole day speaking Harikatha. Tireless Harikatha. Tireless Harikatha. Whole day. Different subject matter, different questions. All you can give answer, get answer from. Later on, when at the last moment when he is going away from this, he used to he used to chant Harinam loudly as if he is crying, as if he is crying and begging for help, as if he is crying and begging for help from Prabhupada and Gaur Nithyananda Bhakti Muttak. We have the recording, the speaking, crying. Gaur Nithai Haribol, Gaur Nithai Haribol, Gaur Nithai Haribol, you saved me. 
Gaur Nitai Haribol, all speaking. Chidur Goswami. We have recorded. Whole day crying, and save me, save me. I am going to die. Exalted devotee. My Guru Padpadne used to love him so much that I cannot speak. Used to love him so much, cannot speak even. How I can speak? Because the heart of Guru Maharaj was so heavy. They are so pure, you know. So, at that time, Guru Maharaj was busy in preaching field with Bhakti Vita Madhu Goswami Maharaj. Even after Madhu Goswami Maharaj gone from this material world, that time Guru Maharaj was, you know, doing all Bani Sheva, Harikatha in the form of writing, and Bhakti, Big and Bharati Maharaj, Bhakti, you know, all of Tithu Goswami Maharaj, they all used to stay with him. One day, while coming back from preaching, he was travelling in train. I know, travelling in, in, in a car. From train, they drove, and after that, they are coming to Mayapur, and uh, um, Mayapur, they are coming. In the meantime, from Navadhi, from via Navadhi, in the car, when the car going to cross the Gauranga Bridge, you know, the Gauranga Bridge, then Guru Padpada started crying, you drop me here, drop me here. Then Bhakti Rakham, Nanan Maharaj, all the disciples of Bhakti, you know, of Bhakti Dvaita Madhavad, you drop me here, you drop. Maharaj, you are old age, how you, where you can go alone? Now you drop me here. How you can go? You are coming from long distance. You can go to mud, whatever, wherever you like to go, you can go after taking bath, taking prasadam. No, no, you drop me here. My heart is, eh, my heart is, you know, feeling pain. I, I, I'm going to get some indication, some problem coming, some problem coming. What problem? I think, uh, I think Param Siddhar Goswami cannot stay. What you say? Yes, you drop me here. You drop me here. All with luggage, he drop here. And the old age, very slowly, going to the mart and keeping luggage, and in front of the bhajan kutir of Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, started, brusted into tears, and crying, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Siddhar Maharaj, you're going to leave us, you're going to leave us, you're going to leave us, we are alone, you're going to leave us, he's crying. Don't leave us, please. Follow, is the condition. It's called Vaishnava. In your life, if you have seen any real Vaishnava, then nobody can cheat you. But at that time, if there was no darshan power inside you, then still today, it's a big problem. But after hearing Harikatha, if you can develop your darshanic power, then it's okay. But still today, if you are foolish, then what I can do? I have so many things to say, Tomorrow I can speak. Then this particular date, very important date. Today, particular Tithi, Maharaj left his body. Guru Maharaj and our Guru Varga, our Bhakti Kuan Mohsen Goswami Maharaj used to sing his non different from Prabhupada. My Guru Maharaj used to love him very much. All, everybody, uh, Bhaktala Parma, who not? Who not? Everybody. Today is the date. We are very so we are very you know sorry. We are very this day he gone from this material world. We are missing him, but still he is there in the form of Siddhanta Vichar. I feel very sad because many times Mara speaking about Navadip, Navadip. Uh, and Navadip here, the Julan of Gorangampa wrote, he wanted to speak the accurate Siddhanta, but later we have seen some Acharyas going to speak all rubbish against Srila Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. Unnecessary. They have no capacity to understand what Maharaj is going to say, but they are popped up, they are preaching all over the world, they are weak, they are going to ignore. Who is he to speak about against my Guru Maharaj? Speaking this way. See. So please, Bhagavan, don't give money power. 
don't give me money power, manpower. If, if all money power, manpower coming, then some false ego can develop. I know no, no, no false ego can come, but still, who can know? So I never expect. So anyway, I wanted to speak so many things. Tomorrow I can speak. The sloka I started. Eh? Tavat Brahma Katha Mukti Padavi Tavat Natikti Bhavet Tavat Chapi Vishankala Tamayate No Loka Veda Siti. This sloka I wanted to explain. But now I can speak something. Tomorrow I can speak. Only I like to touch. Under the guidance of Bhakti Mnu Thakur, Bhakti Mnu Thakur wanted to speak about Purushottam Brata. Today is Purushottam Brata. Today is Adivasthiti of Purushottam Brata. Purushottam Brata is more than Kartik Brata. Purushottam Brata is more and more than Kartik Brata. We are very lucky to observe this Kartik Brata. Purushottam Brata, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur speaking, those who are pure devotees, those who are exactly pure devotees, Paramahansa devotees, usually they are very much interested with Nam Sankirtan and Harikatha. They are always busy with Nam Sankirtan and Harikatha. They are busy with Nam Sankirtan and Harikatha. Follow. Most of the time. So, Nam Sankita and Harikatha, they like very much. Bhakti Mantra is speaking. Though there is 64 different kind of limbs of Bhakti, but still, those who are elevated devotee, Paramahansa, they usually not expressing any uh, interest for other. They, okay, it's okay, but they are expressing special interest for Harinam. Uh, Harikatha Kirtan, Harikatha Kirtan, they like it. That is the nature. So, how to observe this Purushottam Brata? This is one kind of question. This is one kind of question, how to observe? Bhakti Mata giving answer, come on man, everything depends upon your nature. Bhakti Mata was speaking, everything depends upon what kind of nature you have developed up to now by doing bhajan? Your saskar, your baba, up to which point? If you are up to that excellent point, then Bhakti Mata was speaking, you need not play so many things. You need not play your head. You can play, do Nam Sankirtan Harikatha. But if you are not up to that point, you will have to follow all rules and regulation, everything in toto, as is spoken by our Guru Bhargava, as per the chart of, you know, Purushottam Brata, different charts there. Purushottam Brata, we can get, you know, detailed information, Naradiya, Vyad, Naradiya, Pranan, everything. So many information I can give, but time cannot permit. Bhakti Mandra is speaking, the main objective the main objective of our bhajan is to concentrate on the lotus feet of Bhagavan to do his exclusive seva to satisfy him 100%. That is our, that is our vichar. All other things like you should not eat this one, this one, that one, you should do this thing, that thing, all rules and regulations there. All rules and regulations there. Okay? But I, noontime also, Harikatha, I told that main thing is that, what is that? There is one restriction, vidhi, and one nishet. One restriction, one restriction, I mean, not to do, nishet and vidhi. Vidhi means you should do it and you should not do it. There is one, there is one vidhi, you should do it, and there is one nishet, you should not do it. One and one. On the basis of this, uh, on the basis of this one vidhi and one nishad. On the, on the basis of this one vidhi and one nishad, total Hari Bhajan is, is established. On the basis, 
on the foundation. It's called foundation. What is that? Satatam smartabhya vishnum vishmartabhyam na jatu uchit. Satatam smartabhyam vishnu. You should remember every fraction of second in your life, you should remember Bhagavan and don't forget Bhagavan. But at the same time, you should remember you cannot remember Bhagavan until and unless you have loveful relationship with Bhagavan. What you love, that you can remember. If you love wine, you can remember wine. Oh, now you've been evening time, now there is headache, I must go to drink wine. Eh? Because you love wine. Automatically, you can remember. But if you love Bhagavan, then you can remember Bhagavan. If you like, if you love your son, you can remember your son. Automatically, no? Son, one son doing, in, doing his education in America. Mother always thinking, he is there, what he is eating, I don't know, what he is doing. Like maybe some problem is facing. Every day, maybe two, three times ringing. Hey, what are you are eating? Why? Because mem there is memory. Love and memory interrelated to each other. Positive way. Negative memory also there, I can say, if you hate somebody, that also memory can come to you. But I am not speaking, I am speaking about positive memory. If you hate somebody, have some uh, fighting with him, enemy, ah, oh, yeah, memory, how to kill him, <laughs> that is also there. <laughs> no, I am not speaking about negative thing, I am speaking about positive. So love and memory interrelated to each other. Bhakti Vinayata giving Tra you know, attention, Bhakti was speaking, you should pay attention to continuous Harikatha Kirtan. Like the case of Parikhit Maharaj and Sukhdev Goswami hearing Harikatha. But we have no time, limited time. Even then, limited time we like to cut because who can hear for three hours? Impossible. <laughs> this is our love for Bhagavan. So, how we can get Bhagavan this way? So, Purushottam Brata is so important, Brata. It's just like Kartik Brata. And I already wrote Chaturmasa Brata. First, Chaturmasa Brata, four month, first month, second month, third month, fourth month. So, each month, whatever thing is prohibited, if it is going to cross with Purushottam Brata, maybe 15 days, is 15 days. You can count in the first part, first month of Chaturmas. So according to that, you can maintain your restriction of food. Second, like milk is like like in in in, in the savan, spinach, green sack. So you you can obey it. In the in the month of you know Badra Badra Bado, there is card is prohibited. In the month of you know Ashwin, there is milk is prohibited. According to that, you can calculate. You have your brain. You can say, and if our Purushottam Brata is going to uh, going to touch two months, first two months, if our Purushottam Brata is going to touch first two months, suppose now this some days going to touch seven, so you can obey spinach. You can avoid, and the last half, second half of this Purushottam Brata going to touch. Bhadramas, so Bhadra is card is for we can obey it. But it is more important to hear Harikatha Kirtan continuously, non-stop. In this month, you should not be busy with earning money. Everything you should kick out. You should kick out every all engagement. You should kick out everything and you must be busy with Harikatha Kirtan, which is the topmost Bhajan mode of our life. Shavanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, I was speaking. It's so important that Bhagavan Himself, I'm going to cut short. From Bihad Narodiya Purana, I'm going to speak something. Because it is written, when, when Purushottam, Pur, when this extra month, it is called extra month, you know. Try to understand. Every, every 32 months, try to calculate. Every 32 months, 
16 day, 4 hours, there is some calculation. Every 32 months and some days and hours, Purushottam Bhutto, round the clock coming. So, how it is coming? But uh, we have two type of calculation. One according to the lunar, you know, system. One is the solar system. Calculation. Our, you know, astro ast astrology, you know, this calculation. So when you are going to keep tally, when you are going to keep tally with the calculation uh, as per lunar system, when you are going to keep tally with these two, with the solar system, then automatically, after 32 months and 16 days, 4 hours, one month you can get extra. One month means 28 days or 29. It is really 28. Like our month, February, 28 days. And automatically. That day, that period is extra to keep. They like to maintain, no? If you like to keep tally, then automatically, one month become extra. So one month become extra, it is occurring every 32 months and some days and all. So that month, those who are smarter, I mean those who are material people, they, they are not going to give any honor. They are not going to give any honor to this extra month, which is called Mal month, Odhimash. In Bengali Sanskrit, we say Odhimash. Odhimas, man extra. Or malmas, dirty, 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 discarded, useless. Malmas mean? Mal mean stool. But here mal mean dirty. Mal mean not stool. So those uh, as far as smarter people, smarter people, they say hey, useless. So any marriage ceremony, any worship, any jaga, nothing can be done. It is very useless month. It's called? Adhimans or Molomash. But those who are devotees of Bhagavan, those who are beyond smarter rules, they are thinking, okay, it's very good for us because there is no problem, there is no you know, disturbance of any material, uh, material auspicious and uh, material and uh, activities of those so-called Brahman, useless. Then we can find the great opportunity to do Hari Bhajan throughout the month. So this is the scope for us. No problem. No disturbance. So we can go on. We can go on observing this month as a very important month for Hari Bhajan. Follow. In Gita also Bhagavan speaking. Ja Nisha Sarva Bhutanam Tasham Jagrati Sangjami Jasham Jagrati Sangjami Shani Shapashyato, Jashan Jagrati Bhutani, Shani Shapashyato Muni. Those material people, they are not going to express their, you know, express their alertness. They are not going to express their, about Hari Bhajan. So those Muni Rishis, those Sadhu, they are alert, very alert. And about material thing, money, position, oh, so many money, building. They are busy, those sadhus are there sleeping. Oh, useless. Follow. You should consult Gita. Janisha Sarva Bhutanam. What is the night time for a demon? Those big, big sadhu, night time during Hari now. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. And daytime, they are busy with money, position, and everything. They are useless. They are going to. Janisha Sarva Bhutanam. Tasham Jagrati Sangyami Jasham Jagrati Bhutani Shani Shapashatumuni. Similar way, those who are going to discard, throw out this man, they are useless, dirty. And then those who are devotees, they are going to accept. Ah, very nice. We can do Hari Bhajan whole month. And not only that, but also there is one evidence that Malma is crying. Everybody likes to kick me out. What to do, Bhagavan? They are going. To Bhagavan with Narayan, Krishna speaking, well, I can give topmost importance to you. You can get as much as much value and importance as I have. So I can give. Bhagavan is going to give all 
Your name is, my name is Purushottam. My name is Purushottam. So your name is also Purushottam, brother. Bhagavan speaking. Follow. This way, Purushottam Brata getting so much importance, and those who are going to follow Purushottam Brata in total, one Purushottam Brata is more than sufficient to give it Krishna Krishna Prema. But, but, under the guidance of pure devotee. Very so important, which is not possible. So many incidents there. Bhakti Mahatma Thakur also going to quote one incident that Dopodi Devi, Dopodi Devi, she was the daughter of Medharishi. Dopodi Devi, she was the daughter of Medharishi. Even after hearing the glorification of Purushottam Brata from Durvasa Muni, she didn't pay any attention. That's why in the next life she took birth in the form of Draupadi and got so many pain in forest chair there are five husbands so many problems going to take out clothes from body <laughs> so many bhakti mantra going to right and this th particularly this Draupadi when then krishna advised him krishna particularly advised them to do i know panchabanda you can all obey this purushottam brato to tide over this problem then they observe purushottam brato and after that, all problems were solved in their life. Follow what I say. This way, Purushottam Bhrata is so important, so important. Only eating and sleeping. Oh, I will have to eat this. I will have to fast. Never fast so much. Prabhupada never told that you have, you have to do at, pay attention to Seva. This Kali Kal. So many devotees I know. In Chaitanya Mahadi used to say, one nice devotee is never Samir Prabhu. A disciple of, you know, Saman Goswami Maharaj. Every Akadashi fasting. After that, he developed chronic disease. Thousands of rupees men, you know, spent. Still, after that, he left body. He went to even Belo, topmost, you know, you know, place in India for treatment. But still. He was there with me in Chaitanya when he used to speak Harikatha. He used to love me very much. But, so, fasting is not only brato. You pay attention to hearing Harikatha. Only fasting, fasting, are fasting okay? If you are fasting and after that if you uh, ruin your health, not good. I am not speaking that you should not fast. If your body permit, time to time you can think, I am not against fasting. I also like to fast. But if there is so many Harikatha devotees there, don't allow me to for fasting, full fasting. Previously I used to do so many. Anyway, so Harikatha Kirtan is so important. It can exceed the importance of other things. Harikatha Kirtan is so important, so important that it can exceed the importance of all other things. Countless things. You should give importance. So tomorrow I can speak all in details about the sloka I spoke, you know. Today I will have to stop. Tomorrow, from tomorrow, continuous the Harikatha can go every day. Eh? Okay? You can come on time actually. So, in between you can do some Kirtan. Because continuous speak Harikatha, you cannot digest it, you can feel problem. So, in between you can do some Kirtan. Like in Vindavan, Janmashtami, from afternoon time up to 12 o'clock, Harikatha. In between there is some breakage, uh, Kit Aruti. I am habituated by the mercy of Bhagavan. So, this is not good actually, you cannot. So, in between you can do some kirtan. Govind jay jay, Gopal jay jay, Radha Raman Hari, Govind jay jay. You can do tomorrow. Eh? So, you see, uh, today I am going to stop here. So, Tavad Brahma Katha Mukti Pada Vitavad Natikti Bhavit Tavad Chapi Vishinkala Tamate Naloka Veda Siti Tavad Sastra Vidam Mithaha Kalakala Nana Bahir Bhatmasu Sri Chaitanya Padam Bujo Sri Chaitanya 
Sri Chaitanya Padam Bujo Priyajana Javadna Digga Charaha Vancha Kalpatrasya Kipa Sindhu Bhavacha Aditanang Pavanabhyo Vaishnabhyo Namun Go on hearing and try to digest.